love you. You won't be lonely anymore. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. Is this my real daddy? Yes, darling. We came to see you graduate, Patsy. Isn't it time you were getting ready? We were just about to get ready. Weren't we, Patsy? Yes, sister. How were her marks, Father? I uh, didn't see her report card. Hmm? Uh, her marks, oh, they were exceptional. There wasn't a child in the class anywhere near her. My dear friends, this is indeed a great day for St. Mary's. I might call it the first birthday of the new St. Mary's. There's the old, and here's the new. And we owe it all to the generosity and the benevolence of one man. A man whose name will be graven on our cornerstone and in our hearts for many years to come. And speaking of hearts, a truly great heart beats in the bosom of Mr. Horace P. Bogardus. <laughs> Mr. Bogardus is a very modest man. But when you have a heart that loves children, that thinks only of others, and that's capable of doing so much good, then, my friends, you have a heart that can laugh at the years. <laughs> Mr. Bogardus is a fine example of the joy of giving. To him, every day is Christmas. Indeed, he has holly in his heart. Thank you. St. Mary's is founded on faith, hope, and charity. And the greatest of these is charity. And a gift to the church, you know, is deductible. Thank Mr. Bogardus for his generous gift. And now I'd like to say a few words to the boys and the girls of our graduating class. I'm going to make it very brief. Today is a joyous one for you because you're graduating. It's also a sad one because you're leaving St. Mary's. I can't sum up in a few minutes what you've learned here in eight years. And what you're taking with you is, is not just what was in the books. That's important, but it isn't everything. What you are taking with you is what you have to give now to others. What the good sisters have taught you. I want to say right here that if any of you are ever in trouble, no matter what, you just dial O for O'Malley. Did you order the cab? Yes, it'll be waiting outside. Sister Benedict in chapel?
Dear Lord, remove all bitterness from my heart. Please help me to see thy holy will in all things. Help me. Please. Please help me. Are you going with me, Sister Angela? Yes, Sister. Goodbye, Sister. Goodbye, Goodbye sister. sister. Goodbye, 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 sister Janet. You know that wherever I am, my heart will always be with St. Mary's. Bye, Sister Benedict. Bye, Sister. Father. Sister, we know your heart will be here. We'll always remember you in our prayers. Thank you. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. Sister, Sister Benedict. Sister, I can't let you go like this. Uh, you know, when Dr. McKay said you were perfect, he was right. For that's what you are. But he didn't mean physically. Because, sister, you have a touch of tuberculosis. Uh, Dr. McKay felt that you shouldn't know about this, but I've... Thank you, Father. Thank you. You've made me very happy. I'll get well quickly now. Oh, of course you will, sister. Of course I will. And if you ever need anything, no matter what it is or wherever you happen to be. Yes, I know. I'll just dial O for O'Malley. Right. 